Hi, I'm Dr. Ingrid Pacey. I'm a psychiatrist and I've devoted myself to understanding the healing potential of various states of consciousness. This video will demonstrate four basic principles that you can use to assist someone undergoing a difficult psychedelic experience. These principles are similar to those used by therapists in psychedelic psychotherapy research settings. In the upcoming scene, we will watch a young man who is having a difficult experience while under the influence of a psychedelic drug and demonstrate some general principles on when and how emotional support could best be given. Oh, look at Jason over there. He's looking a little out of sorts. Do you have any idea what's up with him right now? Well, Donald told me that they each took about two hits of acid a couple of hours ago, but mm -hmm. Donald went for a walk with some friends and Jason's just here by himself. What Jason is experiencing is not just limited to what he is seeing and hearing. It is reaching the deepest levels of his mind. Things usually taken for granted like time, self-identity, and any other aspect of reality can be as unusual as what he is seeing and hearing. Even though most psychedelic difficulties are psychological, not physical, if someone has taken a psychedelic drug and is having a difficult experience, a helper should first assess is the person concerned about his or her physical safety if there is any doubt about physical safety, a helper should call 911. If not, try to find out some basic information. What drug does the person think he or she took? How much of the drug does the person recall taking? How long ago does the person recall taking the drug? Is the person on any other medications or drugs, including alcohol? For further background information about drugs and drug combinations, the website www.arrowid.org has potentially useful information. How are you feeling? Um, so I, feel like, I feel like I'm going insane right now, a little bit. I feel like I need to get out of here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's hard for me to, to talk right now. It's fine. Do you feel physically okay? Yeah, yeah, physically I feel fine. But like the rest of me feels like it's being sucked into some sort of vortex or something. Are you tripping right now? Yeah, yeah, I sure am. I'm tripping my face off. Someone with the opportunity to help someone having a difficult psychedelic experience should keep a few basic principles in mind. If the person is not reporting physical danger, the first thing to do is to create a safe space. A safe space can be created anywhere, but it is best to find a place that is quiet, warm, and comfortable. A good phrase to remember is sitting, not guiding. Sit with the person, but do not lead the person away from his or her experience. Let your presence communicate safety and caring, and allow the content of the person's experience to guide any questions you ask or comments you make. If the person is in distress, you may be able to help him or her to explore whatever experiences or issues are being encountered. Staying calm, Will make it easier to create a trusting environment. This means that you can be helpful just by sitting with someone with a supportive and friendly presence. What's happening when you close your eyes? Oh, well, like, I, I'm seeing all these strange shapes and colors swirling into a vortex, but it's not so much like, it's not so much like I'm seeing it, it's like I'm a part of it. I can't control it. I can't relax, I don't know how, I can't, I don't know how, I don't know how, I can't control it. I'm, I can't control it and I'm getting sucked in. Just uh, go with it. Okay. We're in a safe place now.
talk through, don't talk down. That is, help the person talk through what's happening, rather than trying to find some magic words to bring the person down from the experience. Many experts believe that it is best to give the person the space to work through his or her problems, rather than the common practice of trying to distract the person from them. Try to help the person connect with what he or she is feeling and facilitate them in their own journey by promoting trust and security. Since you're going to be tripping for a few more hours, maybe you could take this opportunity to like explore what's happening to you. Don't fight your experience. Just trust that it's happening for an important reason. Difficult is not necessarily bad. It is important to allow someone on psychedelics to explore all emotions, not just happy or fun ones. Experiences with longer lasting negative consequences are more likely to occur when a person resists confronting his or her difficult emotions and tries to escape from them. Wow. That was incredible. That was, like, that was incredible. Painful but with moments of, of peace and clarity. I, I, feel, I, I definitely feel a lot, a lot less crazy when I'm not trying so hard to, to control everything. In this video, we hope to have demonstrated some general principles about how to help a friend who is having a difficult psychedelic experience. The effects of psychedelics vary tremendously and are extremely difficult to categorize. Psychedelics can affect different people in different places and at different times with incredible variation. Yet the effects of psychedelics are not completely arbitrary either. The effects depend on the drug, the mindset of the person taking the drug, and the setting in which the drug is taken. Thanks for your attention. I hope this short video has raised issues that you can discuss further with your family and friends.